Assalamualaikum, welcome to Farm and Farm. If you are a fresh pharmacist and want to join pharmaceutical industry, but you are confused and do not know that which type of questions are asked from the freshers, then you are at the right place because in this video we will discuss most commonly asked questions which you can easily prepare from this video and can get a job in pharmaceutical industry. But if you are an experienced one and want to learn or want to prepare job interview questions then do check the playlist of interview preparation the link of playlist is given in the description this video is usually for the freshers but if you are experienced one and watching for this video must rate the video in the comment box so let's start our video the first question which can be asked from the fresher is what is a pharmaceutical industry so the answer will be that a pharmaceutical industry is an industry which have licensed from a authorized body to develop manufacture test and market the legal drugs many pharmaceutical industries are involved in the discovery and research work of new drug molecules so it is about the pharmaceutical industry next question is that what are the various department in pharmaceutical industries the main departments of pharmaceutical industries are production department, quality control department, quality assurance department, engineering department, research and development department, warehouse department, then there will be HR department, then accounting and finance department and there may be any other departments but these are the main departments and sufficient for the answer. The next question is that which department you want to join this is a very logical question and you must answer this question according to your interest so if you have interest in testing then you can give the answer you want to join quality control laboratory or quality control department if you have interest in documentation or inspections then you can join the quality assurance department and if you have interest in the equipments and manufacturing processes then you must join the production department so you can answer that I want to join the production department because I have a keen interest in the equipments and processes. So I will go towards the production department. What are the responsibilities of the production department? The responsibilities of the production department vary depending upon the section for which he is deputed. So you can give the answer like if you are going to depute for a granulation area then the responsibility of granulation area pharmacist is to ensure timely availability of the batches for the granulation, timely line clearance to maintain the temperature and humidity record, to check the differential pressure, to ensure that all the equipments and balances are calibrated and supervision of the manufacturing processes to perform the in-process tests like LOD. These are some basic responsibilities of the production pharmacies. The next question is that what do you know about the tablet manufacturing? The answer will be tablet can be manufactured by wet granulation, dry granulation or direct compression. Wet granulation method is used for those products which are not degraded by the moisture and heat. Dry granulation is used for those products which are moisture sensitive and heat sensitive and direct compression method is used for those products which have good flowability and compressibility properties. The next question is that what are the various equipments which are used for the granulation? So the various equipments which are used for the granulation are for the pre-sieving are Russell sifter then for the granulation are high share or low share mixers like rapid mixing granulator, H mixer, Sigma mixer. These are for the granulation purpose then wet wheel then for drying fluid bed dryers, tray dryers then for size reduction or screening there are comb mills or oscillating granulator and for final mixing there may be the cone mixer mean double cone mixer or cube mixer or there may be the bin blender. The next question is that what are the main components of compression machine? The main components of compression machines are hopper, feeder, turret, punches, dies, main compression rollers, pre-compression rollers, cams, discharging chute. These are all main components of the compression machine. The next one is that what you know about manufacturing defects. Manufacturing defects depending upon the process mean if you talk about the granulation then there may be the over wetting, under wetting, over drying, under drying for compression there may be the sticking, picking, capping, lamination, weight variation. If you talk about the tablet coating process then there will be the 
sticking, picking, orange peel, effect, color variation, weight gain problems. These are the manufacturing defects. What is the API? API is the main ingredient of a dosage form which give pharmacological effect. What is the excipients? Excipients are the ingredients which are pharmacologically inert and they have no pharmacological effect. What are the types of capsules and what are the size of capsules? There are two types of capsules, hard gelatin capsules and soft gelatin capsules. Size of capsules are 000, 00, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The 000 is the largest capsule and 5 is the smallest capsule. Next one is what is HVAC? HVAC is heating, ventilation and air conditioning system which is used in pharmaceutical industries to maintain the differential pressure to prevent rose contamination and to maintain the temperature and humidity. The next question is that what are the various in-process tests for the tablet? The in-process tests for tablets are Weight variation, hardness, friability, disintegration, thickness checking. These are basically all the in-process tests for the tablets. The next question is that what are the grades of clean rooms? There are four grades of the clean rooms. Grade A, grade B, grade C, grade D. Or it can be asked at what are the classification of clean rooms? ISO classification of clean rooms are from 1 to 9. But in pharmaceutical industries, they are ISO class 5, ISO class 6, ISO class 7 and ISO class 8. Next one is that, what are the types of tablet coating? There are four types of tablet coating. One is the film coating, second one is the sugar coating, enteric coating and drug coating. The next question is that, what are the types of packaging? There are three types of packaging, primary packaging, secondary packaging and tertiary packaging. What is primary packaging? The type of packaging which comes in direct contact with the product is known as primary packaging and the example is blisters. What is secondary packaging? The type of packaging which contain primary packed product is known as secondary packaging and example is the unit carton which contains blister and what is tertiary packaging? The type of packaging which contains many secondary packs and the example is the shippers. The next question is that what are the steps of granulation? So the steps of wet granulation are weighing, sieving, pre-mixing, kneading, wet massing, drying, wet sieving and final blending. The steps of dry granulation are weighing, sieving, pre-mixing, slugging, screening and final blending. These are the steps of wet granulation and dry granulation. So I hope you learn a lot from this video. If you like the video, share it to others and subscribe my channel. Do check the playlist of interview preparation and also read the link of article regarding the interview preparation. The link of article and video is given in description and do subscribe my channel and visit farmandfarm.com till the next video. Allah Hafiz.